Welcome back to Copper Age Gold. On this episode, we're going to GalaxyCon Columbus. Whoa, yeah. Copper Age Gold. Here we go. We're going in, baby. We are here at GalaxyCon Columbus, and we are about to check out some toys, boy. Check this out. We are here at the Toy Vomit booth. Yes. Toy Vomit. Classic. Love this place. Got lots of Simpsons stuff. Got old school WWF. Woo! All the AEW stuff. Got some loose. Got some more old school stuff. Hasbro's. All kinds of cool stuff, man. Check out Toy Vomit. Star Wars. Gotta love all that. More loose stuff. Check out Toy Vomit. Check it out. We are here at GalaxyCon Columbus. And we are at one of our favorite comic places to go to, man. Check out Freedom Comics in Toledo, Ohio. They have tons and tons of awesome comics. Go check out their store in Toledo, Ohio. Nothing but awesome books, man. Great people. But hey, I'm Howard Chaikin. I write and draw comic books. You're watching Copper Age Gold, and don't let it get around. Talk to you soon. Bye. So not only did we have a blast at GalaxyCon Columbus, I was able to get some original artwork done. I got a piece by Howard Chaikin of Indiana Jones because he did the first Indiana Jones artwork in comics, and I thought it was really cool to get him to do an Indiana Jones piece for me, and I love it. It turned out really cool. I also ended up getting a sketch from Robbie Rodriguez, co-creator of Spider-Gwen, and it turned out amazing. And the cool thing about it, man, is Robbie offered up these remarks for $10, man. The best value at the show by far. If you ever catch Robbie at a show, make sure you check out his stuff, man. Great stuff. Great cat, man. Robbie Rodriguez, thank you. So I had planned to get a bunch of books at this con, uh, but some of my favorite creators who I've never met, um, unfortunately, had to cancel, and I was really, really bummed, but I completely understand uh, John Romita Jr., who I've never met, was really super excited to meet him, and that didn't happen. Uh, I get it, and I understand. Um, again, Peter David, who I've never met, amazing writer. Um, unfortunately, he had some health issues and had to cancel, so we're sending our love and thoughts to him and his family. And Al Milgram canceled at the last second as well, and I'm not sure what's going on with him. I hope he's... Uh, Hope he's well, and I hope to catch him next time. Uh, those are the three creators I was looking forward to meeting the most, who I've never met, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer. But you know, that's that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, we're sending all of our thoughts and uh, you know well wishes to them and their families, and we hope that they come out of this okay, and we'll see him down the road, man. So one of the comic book creators at the show who I've never met, who I was very much looking forward to meeting who was there, is Chris McCallo. And he is one of these dudes who I don't really know much about, but when he was announced at GalaxyCon Columbus, I started checking into some of his previous work and realized that, oh, I have a bunch of that. So cool. So we'll check out some of that. We got Generation X number one, of course. We have Ghost Rider 2099, number one, signed. Love that. Thank you. X-Men Unlimited, number one. And we rounded it out with Wolverine and the X-Men, number one, blank. Another really cool part for me and GalaxyCon Columbus 2022 was the fact that almost the entire team for The Mandalorian comic book was there and how cool man check this out this is mandalorian number one and it's of course signed by barnes 
Genty, and Story. So we got the artist, the writer, and the inker, man, all signed on this book. And I am very, very happy about this. This thing is awesome. So happy. So not only were they there, one of the artists who did a variant cover of The Mandalorian number one was there, John Tyler Christopher. And if you're not familiar with his work, please go check out some of his stuff. John Tyler Christopher was a surprise for me, man. I was blown away by him. He was the coolest dude, took time with everybody, and just, I am such a fan of John Tyler Christopher at this point. I'm going to be buying way more of his stuff, and I hope to meet him again soon. The thing about that dude is that his signature is so small. It's right here. If you can see it, right next to Mando on the yellow. That's why, that's how he signs everything, and I had no idea, man. So when he signed for me, I was like, whoa, dude, that is tiny. And you see, the reason he does that is because he's, you know, a fan of the artwork. He wants the artwork to be seen. He doesn't want to have some giant scribble all over the artwork, and then you're like, well, I got it signed, but, you know, there's scribble all over it now. So such a fan of John Tyler Christopher. His stuff is so cool, man. Big fan. Thank you. So not only did I get that signed, I had him sign a couple other books that I had. Secret Wars, Wolverine, of course. And Secret Wars, Black Suit Spider-Man. Again, tiny, tiny, tiny little signature. But, hey man, it's his deal. Another artist who I've never met and was very happy and excited to meet was Aaron Campbell, who worked on this guy, Dark Red. I had Tim Seeley sign this uh, a while back, probably at a Motor City Comic Con. Love this book, man. If you've never checked out Dark Red, check out Dark Red. Good stuff. And also had him sign number two, previously signed by Tim Seeley. I bought a couple books to have Al Milgram sign, but since he canceled, kind of put a bummer on that. But I was still able to add Jim Shooter to my Avengers Annual number 10, already signed by Chris Claremont down at Cincinnati Comic Expo. Love that. The first appearance of Rogue, of course. Also was able to have uh, Jim Shooter sign my copy of Micronauts number one. So I had him added to X-Men 168. Classic cover, already signed, of course, by Chris Claremont, Bob Wiasek, and adding Shooter with Tom Warzakowski. Letter, love this book. Also, Iron Man 126, already signed by Bob Layton. Iron Man 118. Already signed by Bob Layton. First appearance of Jim Rhodes, who would become the War Machine. New Mutants, 26. Already signed by Tom Warzakowski, Chris Claremont, and Bill Sienkiewicz. Love this book. First Legion. Whoa. Of course, we got Cap 241 here. Already signed by Mike Barr. Great book, by the way. Love this cover. Frank Miller worked on this book. A lot of people don't know or appreciate Frank Miller's work on Captain America. If you don't, go check it out. And then, of course, we got Cap 275, signed by Mike Zeck, John Beatty, and J.M. Demedius, adding Jim Shooter. Love this. Great cover. Then we got Cap 323. Again, amazing cover. Love this whole design. Mike Zek, John Beatty added already. Jim Shooter, love that. Love these cap books. And um, a lot of people probably already know that I'm a big G.I. Joe fan. Love G.I. Joe, comics, cartoon, toys, everything. Love it all, man. And of course, Jim was instrumental in uh, launching G.I. Joe at Marvel Comics and handpicking Larry Hama to uh, kind of be the man. And this is a really, really cool book. G.I. Joe 21, Silent Interlude. First appearance of Storm Shadow, by the way. 
love this comic. Already signed by Larry Hama. Adding Jim Shooter. Very happy with that. And then we get on the run, man. Here it comes. We got G.I. Joe 24. Already signed by Larry Hama. Mike Zek. John Beatty. Love this, man. This little run here for G.I. Joe is one of my favorites, man. Of course, we have 25. Signed by Zek. Beatty. Larry Hama, um, again, love this stuff. And then we have 26, signed by Hama and Zek, adding Shooter, very, very happy with that. And then we have 27, signed by Michael Golden already. And then rounding it out, number 53, again, signed by Larry. Mike Zach, love this book. The cover is killer, man. So that's it, man. That rounds out all of the books that I had signed at the show. And it was a great time. And uh, the cool thing about getting books signed at this show is it seemed like there were a lot more creators who were offering free signatures. Or at least maybe the first handful of signatures were free. Which I absolutely love as a collector of signed comics. Uh, very much appreciative of that. So to any creator out there who um, was offering a, a free signature or a couple, thank you so much. It helps us out, the collectors, and um, couldn't say enough, man. Thank you. So one of the cool booths I found at GalaxyCon Columbus was CNC Games, and I thought, wow, this is really cool. Something I'd never really found before, never really looked for before. But growing up as a kid in the 80s, I, of course, was big in the Nintendo. I'm sure a lot of you guys were, too. And this guy makes 3D printed models of Nintendo cartridges, and I thought it was so cool. So check out CNC Games. If you'd like to check out CNC Games for yourself, look them up on Instagram, CC Games CEO. They also have a website, ccgames.net. Check it out. So that's it, man. That's my experience at GalaxyCon Columbus. I had a great time at the show. Got in Friday, first thing, 2 o'clock, and was able to walk around and kind of get a lay of the land, uh, kind of figure out where things are, and walk around and check out all the cool vendors, man. Tons of vendors, man. Uh, if you were there for PowerCon, they had PowerCon in room C, which is kind of all the way down at the end of the hall. GalaxyCon Columbus was Hall A and Hall B. And I believe they even used C as well for like the gaming and the cosplay stuff. I really didn't get too into that much. Uh, I kind of stayed in Hall A and B because there was so much to see, man. GalaxyCon Columbus delivered. It was huge. Couldn't have been happier. Great time. I really wish that um, some of the comic creators who canceled wouldn't have canceled, of course. But that's just me being selfish. Um, otherwise, great time. Great show. Got a bunch of comics signed. Uh, we stayed at the Drury Inn, by the way. Uh, if you're looking to go down there next year, looking for a nice hotel, the Drury Inn is connected to the convention center. You don't have to go outside. All you do is run right through the little food court there, and you're on your way. The convention center is connected. Don't have to get all wet. Don't have to deal with the weather. The Drury Inn, very much recommended. Great time. Very much highly recommended. Check out GalaxyCon if it comes near you. Um, make sure you click like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell because we got more videos coming for GalaxyCon. Next video is going to be kind of all about the Clerks boys. And that was such a blast. Make sure you come back for that. Please leave a like and subscribe. It would help us out tremendously. We're doing everything we can to expand the universe just a little bit more. And hit the notification bell to be notified about future videos.